A summery kind of October day here in Pittsburgh as this week of great weather just keeps rolling on. Let's check in with Ray now as we begin looking toward the weekend and hoping our luck's going to hold in there. What do you think, Ray? Uh, I think by the weekend our luck's going to start to roll out of here and we'll see some rain rolling in. That with temperatures starting to slowly fall, but the real chill isn't coming into play until Halloween and the beginning of November. Temperatures right now quite mild, 62 in Irwin, Zelianople as well, 66 in Pittsburgh. Beaver has 67 degrees. We have some 50s down to the south. We've had some clearer reports down here, so less cloud cover, less to hold in the heat. So those temperatures fall off a little more quickly down that way. But I think everyone's in store for a pretty mild night overnight. 66 where we stand right now. The dew point's still very low, so our relative humidity is at 47%. To get rain, you'd want that in the 60% or higher range. Now, when it comes to temperatures overnight, we're going down to the low 50s in Pittsburgh, so we have some falling to do in the temperature department. Some upper 40s towards the ridges, but overall, it's going to be a warm night for this time of year. And high temperatures tomorrow, they're getting right back into the low to mid 70s, so a very similar day to what we had today with uh, clouds, a little sunshine, and of course, those warm temperatures that are going to last a few more days. From there, we start to slip, and you can see Monday into Halloween, this is where those temperatures take a nosedive, and they stay kind of chilly through much of next week. So we have this setup where rain is trying to move in here, but it's just drying up with our very uh, dry air that we have overhead. And again, not enough humidity to help these showers out. So we're going to have clouds, some breaks at times where you can see a couple stars. But overall tonight, uh, clouds with a few breaks and tomorrow, same deal. Clouds with a few breaks for peaks of sunshine, but a day that's going to look a lot like today. And then Friday, we start to see our rain chances going up, especially late Friday. You'll start seeing those rain showers showing up uh, Friday night and into Saturday morning, and that's where we see some maybe spotty showers around. I don't think Saturday is going to be a washout, but Sunday and Monday are looking a little soggier, and I think the rain's going to be mainly light these days, but those are your best shots to see the rain, and I think we get it out of here by the time we get to trick or treat. So, uh, when it comes to the Halloween plans, I think we're looking pretty good at this point. 52, mostly cloudy degrees tonight, a mild night across the region with light winds. Tomorrow's temperatures, they're going to make it back to the mid 70s. So this is going to be another very warm day across the region. We're just stringing these uh, spicy October days together, and you can see how this works out. We have the low 50s uh, at 7 a.m. By lunchtime, we're already approaching that 70 degree mark, and then we get a little more warming for the afternoon, taking us up to the mid 70s for our official high temperatures. Now, Friday, still in the mid 70s, still mainly dry, a late shower not out of the question. Saturday, Sunday, those temperatures step down, and they step down again on Monday to the mid 50s. That's where we finally get below average. Still some showers around there. Then Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, mid 40s for high temperatures. That's it, and that includes Halloween. So by the time we're getting into the trick or treat hours, maybe around 40 degrees. Now, with that in mind, remember to check in tomorrow morning with the KDK Morning News. We still have some warm temp temperatures. Check it what you're in store for as you head out the door. Plus, John has your traffic all starting tomorrow at 4 30.